say peace. Yeah, I'm proclaiming news all about God's happiness. My God, he's alive and well. Don't you know he's filled with power? Oh, God, rain. That's your safety belt. Oh, God, began to play he went uh, as if he wasn't quite sure if God was digging it or not let me tell you nowhere in the Word of God does it ever say make a soft sound when you praise God you either go for it or you don't those that don't go for it never receive very much from God you, you can't sit there like this hallelujah and get anything from God it's impossible and those of you who go watch your favorite football team, and when the quarterback goes back to toss a long one, you go, Woo! and you knock down four old ladies, knock over popcorn, who knows what else. And then you come to God's house and you go, hallelujah, came with something. 
and you wonder why God doesn't bless you. It's time that someone lights a fire under you. It's time for you to stand up and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. It's time for you to be wild about Jesus. He's wild about you. When you get wild about him, it'll cause him to begin to explode. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me tell you, God doesn't mind. I mean, you know, if you, if you can't, if you have never done this, those of you who are from traditional backgrounds, if you have never done this, you should try it. Get out by yourself somewhere where no one can laugh at you. And then you begin to just lift up your voice like David did and shout unto God. Some of you, I dare say, have never used every bit of your energy and said, Hallelujah! And watch what happened. When you begin to go that way, God, <laughs> God begins to move. That means everything you need, Jesus will begin to give to you. You say, that sounds like a fairy tale. It's better. It's better than any fairy tale, and it's the truth. It is the truth. Praise the Lord. Well, go ahead and give the Lord the biggest ovation of the whole life. Hallelujah. his children to be wild about him I'll just simply tell you this any church that tells you that you cannot clap your hands before God that you cannot shout unto God that you cannot even dance before him is not listening to the Word of God because nowhere does it say you can't all the places that it ever talks about praising God it talks about giving him your energy See, praise to God is energy to God. With the same energy you give to him, he releases his energy back to you. You want to get more of God in your life? Begin to give God more of your energy. Begin to give God more of your praise. Begin to be free. Begin to be unashamed of him. Begin to lift up your voice and shout and praise and dance. Hallelujah. You can't stay down. You got to get up. You can't stay sad. You got to get higher. Cocaine doesn't take you high. It's really God's power. It's really Jesus. It's really his power that lifts you up above everything. I didn't mean to get excited. I'll tell you this. Every drug in the world is a counterfeit for God's power. Every high that the world has to offer is a counterfeit for the high that Jesus gives. You say you got chipped scripture for that? Chap scripture and verse? Yeah. The Bible says Jesus is high and lifted up. Praise God. Listen to me. God isn't called the most high for nothing. He is the most high God. Praise the Lord. It's time all of his people begin to present him that way to the world. He's free. He doesn't ever go down. He keeps you higher. He's legal. Praise God. Isn't that good? I'll tell you one other thing. One day, by the Spirit of the Lord, I was saying, God is the most high God. And this little lady said, Sonny Bar, where did you read that in the Bible? And I said, did you ever read in Chronicles when the priests began to minister and and the Spirit of God filled the place. And it said, when the priests began to blow the trumpets, God likes trumpets, evidently. <laughs> when the priests began to blow the trumpets, and the people said, 
For the Lord is good, and His mercy endures forever. Say that with me. For the Lord is good, and His mercy endures forever. That then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord filled the house so that the priest could not stand to minister. The reason they couldn't stand to minister, <laughs> clouds don't stop you from standing up. I fly through clouds all the time. <laughs> clouds don't stop you from standing up. The reason they couldn't stand up to minister was the same reason in Acts they couldn't stand up to minister because they were intoxicated with the very power of the living God. They were filled with His power. You want that to happen to you? I want it to happen to me. Well, just be free and give God all of the praise. And don't be a spectator. Don't just say, oh, hallelujah. Man, when you begin to worship God, roll up your sleeves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shake your legs a little bit. God's invented something that's a string between your heel and your chin. You can't frown and dance. It's impossible. All of a sudden, you begin to smile because God's power begins to fall. The Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. <laughs> Proclaim liberty to the captive. You ever been in jail? It feels good to get out. <laughs> the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all them that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. Why do you praise God? Not so men can hear you. So you can glorify God. So you can show men that Jesus is the key. That God's alive. Let's go. Come on.
is about me. Oh, 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 oh. Everywhere, all over the world. Uh -huh. The spirit of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, I wasn't going to do this because, you know, I have to be real careful that I'm not too wild. <laughs> I've cleaned up my act about as good as God could ever clean anybody up. I mean, before I served Jesus, I would not have been caught dead in a suit. I would not. I thought people that didn't wear jeans were weird. I'm going to sing a song that's not traditional. Comes as quite a shock to you, doesn't it? People... I'm going to talk about my friends in the world for a minute. They think that heaven is a figment of somebody's imagination. Doesn't exist. They think that if there was heaven, here's what we're going to do when we get to heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> the rest of them are going to go. Hallelujah! Feel like gold. Solid gold. <laughs> Feel like gold, man. Solid gold. Let me tell you something. Heaven's going to be a lot more bananas than that. <laughs> Heaven is going to be the most incredible place. Heaven is the most incredible place. The best jam sessions the world so far surpass what the world has ever seen. <laughs> you say, you're nuts. Yes. And I'm very proud of it. Praise God, I'm nuts for Jesus. I'm going to stay that way till Jesus comes back. Let me tell you something. I wrote this song that said, and let me tell you something, God doesn't speak King James either. <laughs> King James is dead. God is alive. The Bible translation that we all refer to a lot as the King James Version was written in an honor of a king that's now dead. Jesus is not dead. God's alive. If you talk to God in your language, God will talk to you in your language. If you say, hey, God, wherefore dost thou want us me to goest? He'll say, over there is. If you say, hey, God, who, what's happening? He'll say, I am happening. God will speak your language. He speaks the language of the world. He has no limitations. None. None. It's good to look nice. All of those of you who are watching by satellite and don't know Jesus, you don't have to wear a suit to receive him. You don't have to wear a tie to get born again. Jesus will take you the way you are. Just go for it. Praise God. But I wrote this song. The song goes, I heard about heaven far beyond the Milky Way. The sun is always shining, never a cloudy day. What the world needs to know is that the real party is with God's people. That the real celebration, if King James had been written in 1986, every time you saw a banquet, it would have said a party. Every time you saw, like the Passover, it would have been a big festival. It would have been a celebration. It would have been a party. I've been to a lot of parties. The party that we're getting ready to go to is the best the world's ever seen. For openers, there's going to be this incredible trumpet. Woo! Praise God, that's going to blow. And when God blows, E.F. Hutton will listen, praise God. So will the whole world. And you think I blow hard, young man. You with the glasses on. If you think I blow hard, wait till God blows. On a clear day, I can blow for seven miles. The earth is 22,000 miles in circumference. They're going to hear it the same instant in Australia that you hear it in Houston, Texas. That's what's exciting. Praise God. Everybody stand up. Now, when I get to this part that says, when we see him, what a party there will be. <laughs> I want you to do something that's not church looking. I want you to picture yourself in the presence of God Almighty. Woo! I want you to see yourself dancing before the King of Kings. If you stood before Jesus and he said, it's cool. Don't tell me you'd go like this. It's no hallelujah shuffle. 
it's time to go bananas for God. You say, that's making a spectacle out of yourself. Yes, but it's making a spectacle out of yourself because you're humbling yourself in the eyes of all of your friends. And you're lifting up Jesus. And you're dancing before him. You're praising him. Are you ready? Go. Turn it up. I sung songs about wild time living and paradise fantasies. And I have been to song, whoa, and song just in my dreams. with it. And I heard about heaven probably on the Milky Way. The sun yeah, is always shining together on a cloudy day. And I heard about Jesus. Jesus! How it came and fought for me. A brand new way of living. Whoa, he brought the victory. Here we go. And when we see him, what a party there will be. Oh. Now, Father, they were just kidding. They were not serious. I'm going to give them one more chance, and if they don't do it this time, you can. <laughs> I'm going to let you practice. When we see him, what a party there will be. Come on! No! That's not enough. I mean, the football stadiums are filled with sinners that praise their team. Louder than we're praising God. Come on. Let me hear you go bananas one time. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's more like it. Praise God. Let's do it again. Come on. I sung songs about wild time living and paradise fantasies. And I have been to some and some just in my I have always felt a higher calling, something I could not say. I felt there was a world beyond the stars. Sing it, everybody, if you know it.
Say Jesus. Jesus. I know you're alive. And I worship you. I set aside all denominations. Any difference between me and my brother. And I put my eyes on you. Praise your mighty name, Jesus. Praise your mighty name. Oh, isn't Jesus wonderful? By the Spirit of the Lord, the denominational walls are falling. Because what you see tonight is not a denominational event. God is far above denominations. It's time when the denominational walls are being brought down, where the partitions between brothers and sisters all over the world are being done away with. And God's people are coming together to make one sound in heard, to be heard in praising him and in giving him honor and in giving him glory. I want everybody to join hands. Together, we are the body of Christ. There is no division in us. There is to be no division between us. What those of you who are watching by satellite are seeing is a portion of the unity that God has told us will come in the earth where all kinds of denominations can come together under the bond of love, under the name of Jesus and recognize that we all have much to learn. 
that we all have much to learn from each other. But we can set aside all of that and simply begin to lift up the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus. At his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. From all over the world, people are coming together to join hands and to give praise to God. We're breaking down barriers that have kept us apart for so long. We're finding out that we're all members of his body. Because of the blood of Jesus, we have now become the people of God. We are his people, a new race on the earth, the children of the living God. Hallelujah. With the lips, let us sing one confession. With the hearts, hold to one truth alone. and called us his own, his very own. If you know it, sing it. Thank you. 